Okay, in this video today, I want to show you how to replace the charging port on a Samsung Galaxy Note. Mine is the AT&T version. Uh, you can see here, the problem is, is it's charging with one of those chargers. It's not with the other one, and so it was just having some issues with charging. So I decided to replace the charging port. You can buy them for a few bucks. I'll show you that later in the video. So I want to show you today how, how to actually replace the charging port on your Galaxy Note. Um, so the first thing here you can see you can buy this repair toolkit from uh, eBay for pretty cheap um, But I wanted to get it done pretty quick So I went and bought a screwdriver set from my local dollar store. This is from uh, my dollar store is Dollar Tree I was able to buy that for that set for a dollar. So um, I saw that mentioned on the forum and I bet most dollar stores are gonna have something like this So you can go there and and get you a small um, Get you a small screwdriver set the other thing you're going to need is some way to be able to pry, uh, pry open your phone. And so in that repair kit that you saw there from eBay, they had these little plastic things to be able to get in there. Again, I didn't want to wait, so I tried to think of some way to do that. And I've, I found like a credit card. Actually, that's like my SIM card where the little SIM card came out. And that's got a piece of sandpaper and just sanded it down or sanded it kind of to a sharp point there. You can see I'll hold that up. Where you can see that it comes to a sharp edge there, kind of like a knife. I mean, it's not real sharp, but just where you can be able to get right into to the crack between the two, between the front and the back half of the the housing assembly on that Galaxy Note. And I'll show you how to do that later. But that's one way to do it. You know, people say if you have a guitar pick, you can use that. Um, so maybe a lot of other ways that you can actually do that. That's the way I did it. Okay, so I'm showing you kind of how to do it here. Take the back off, take the battery out. And um, if you have your SIM card, uh, micro SD card, make sure you go ahead and get those out. Okay, so first thing, there are nine screws that you have to take out here. Okay, so there's the first one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the ninth one. Nine screws that have to come out there. So the screwdriver I used was the 564. Uh, um, it doesn't have to be that one probably. You probably could have used some of the other ones, but that's the one that, that fit in the best that wouldn't strip out the screws. So that's, that's what I used there. So while I've got a little bit of slack time here on, on, in, in these gaps, I'm going to kind of talk to you about a few things that you need to be careful of. Um, once you take the phone apart and put it back together, there's one issue that I had where the little where the power button was kind of stuck down, and so I just want to say that now while I've got a little bit of time, make sure whenever you put your phone back together that your power button is not stuck down, because when I did that, it was causing a problem where uh, when I tried to power it back on, it just would vibrate every two seconds, just continually vibrate, and it wouldn't come back on. And so that's one thing that you need to be careful of whenever whenever you're doing this is making sure that that you get uh, your your power button where it's not stuck in the in the on position because that will definitely cause issues for you. Okay, so I'm taking out all of those screws. I have unscrewed all nine of those so far, and that's what I'm doing there. Just counting them, making sure I've got them. I put them in that Ziploc bag in case they get knocked off the table. Um, they get knocked off the table like that, they're in that Ziploc bag and they're not going to fly everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to take that, uh, that SIM card that I kind of filed down to a sharp edge and I'm going to use it now to pry the front housing assembly apart from the back housing assembly. And you can see there, it, it's kind of right there on the, on the kind of chrome metal looking part between that and the glass. And so you're going to kind of pry it in between there. And it's what it is, there's a bunch of little tabs that are catching in there. So that's what I'm kind of showing you there. Is you can kind of make it out. There's little just little places on the on the, the front housing assembly where there's just little divots where there's little tabs inside of there. So I kind of get it started and then just run it down. And then I kind of run it up and around the corner there. And then I'm just bringing all those little tabs out from uh, on the back housing assembly from the front housing assembly. And so just running it around up in the corner there. All right, just keep prying that and just a bunch of little little pieces that got to get pried out. 
Kind of missed the top there, so I'm gonna have to run it back up in along the top there again. And there we go, it finally broke loose. And there's really no cables or anything that's connecting the front to the back, so it just it just pulls apart. So there's nothing to worry about there. That comes off and pulls just completely apart like that. So now that we've got those two parts pulled pulled apart, I don't need the back part of that anymore, so you can just put that to the side. Okay, so down there at the bottom, that's what we're gonna have to get pulled off. So there's three screws there, and there's gonna be actually be two parts that have to come off here. So these are these are silver screws where the first ones were black screws. So you have one, two, and then there's the third one. So those three screws are the ones that have to come out. Again, I'm using the same screwdriver there, that 564th, making sure to keep those screws in one place where they won't get lost. And that little screw in the middle there kind of had a hard time coming out, so kind of had to pull that off and had to give it a little bit of encouragement with the screwdriver to get it out of there. I guess I could have left it in there, but I wanted to make sure I did, it didn't get dropped out somewhere else. So that part is, is one that we'll be putting back on. And this part right here is the actual charging assembly. There's a whole, just a little board there that's actually going to come off. Okay, so there's two cables that you're going to have to unplug here. There's a tiny little white cable that's connected. And then that flex cable right there that has to get popped off. So I just took that little plastic thing and just popped that one off. And then just took my fingernail and popped this other assembly off. That cable right there. So those are the two connections that need to be popped loose. Now here's the main thing you're looking for is you need to see what revision number your charging port assembly is. Um, because I've seen like revision 0 0.1 and you can see mine is revision 1.0. And so you need to make sure that you're getting the same um, charging port with the same revision number. And so that's that's definitely something that you're going to have to do before you order this part because you need to know what uh, revision number that is. So that's very important. There's double sided tape right there that's keeping that together. So that's all you got to do is I just took my little plastic thing there, run it up underneath there. And you're going to take it and slide it and just break that double sided tape loose. So whenever you do that, make sure that your little flex assembly, that little orange uh, cable there, you're bringing it out from underneath the, the uh, green board there. So bring it straight out from underneath there and then it brings that loose for you. And again, very important that you get the same revision number there. You can see revision 1.0, that's what we're after. And so here's my e the eBay listing I bought it. That's what I was looking for is that revision 1.0 and you can see I bought it for $8.24, so very cheap. So I've ordered that and it took several days for that to come in. And so there's the, the new charging port assembly. I'm gonna break that loose. And there's some tape there, or the, um, the protective for the tape. So pull that loose so that you can have your tape. I, I've already taken it apart. You can see there probably that I've already opened that up and and work with it a little bit. Okay, and so we're gonna put that up in place now. Now when you do that, make sure that you keep that little that little white cable going above. And also make sure that your little orange cable goes underneath the green, char uh, green uh, board there. So I'm just trying to show here to make sure that you have these in the right place. Obviously you want the white cable above what we just put on and you want the orange cable to go underneath the green part there. Going up underneath there. So I'm going to put that in place and we have that double sided tape and if you probably want to take off the old double sided tape before you do this. And so I'm just kind of looking to make sure that it's fitting uh, in the right place there. So 
sorry, kind of going off camera there a little bit. But I'm just, just looking around, making sure that's fitting in place properly. And something didn't look right, so I was kind of checking underneath there, although I figured out it, it wasn't anything really. I just was just making sure everything was kind of in order there. So putting it back in place. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is um, just taking that uh, that SIM card and just using it to to just kind of push that down, make sure everything's in place, and also put a little pressure on that double-sided tape to make sure that it's that the charging port assembly is adhering to the actual phone chassis. So that's what I'm doing there, making sure I get that all pushed down. Okay, so you can see it's fitting good right there. It's fitting right around there. It's fitting around that little part. That's fitting right around there. And that's fitting right around that little groove right there. So everything's good. Kind of giving a little extra pressure there. Make sure that tape adheres. Okay, before I put that on, I need to plug in the two cables there. So that little white cable, that little tiny connection, make sure it goes on there. And then make sure you get that put on. And that one's a little bit tricky. But just make sure you feel it to where you can tell that it's meshing. So I couldn't really tell. I pulled it back up there. And just to where you can have that, just you can kind of just feel it meshing together and making sure that that's in the right place. And if it doesn't mesh, it, it's probably going to pop up pretty easy. So that's what I'm doing there is just checking all three of those connections right there and make sure. For sure, on those two that you unplugged, that those those are good. So now I'm going to take the other piece there, and I had it upside down there. To flip it the right way, you'll see it, it won't fit the other way. So that goes right down. So now I'm going to take the three screws, and we're going to put those back in now. And that's one other thing, I, uh, as I was reading about how to do this on forums, is people having problems with their microphone after they, uh, after they get this all done. So um, the microphone is right there in this assembly, so that's, that's something. If, if something isn't working right with your microphone, this is where you're going to want to go back and check on is, well, I'm sorry, not microphone, um, to, to hear sound. Um, your speaker, I'm sorry, the external speakers, people are having problems with that. So that's where you'll want to be checking that out. So I got those three screws back in, just making sure everything's seated down properly and looks pretty good. Just making sure again on all those connections that they're down good. Alright, so now I'm just going to take the, the back housing and just going to get it back lined up right and then going to snap all that back together. Now I'm not going to put the screws in now um, just because of the fact that if something's wrong, I don't want to have to take, put all those nine screws in and then take them back out to see what I did wrong and, and like I told you earlier I did, I had a problem with that power button. so. Um, just snap the back on for now and we'll test functionality and then if it works good at, after that then you can go ahead and put those nine screws in. Um, here I'm just checking to make sure that everything's put back properly and that everything's snapped back the way it should. So I'm going to go ahead and take the battery, put it back on, put the, put the back back on. Okay, so um, 
got this thing uh, with the battery on, put the back back on, and plugged in that cable, and you can see right there that now with that cable, it's able to charge, whereas before, it wasn't charging. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say this now. Um, I think after I've done all this, I realized that really the charging port um, was probably, well, it was the charging port, but I probably could have fixed it. I looked in that old charging port and thought that I did not see anything. And it looked like it was clean. But after I did all this, I went back to that old charging port and I took like a, just a little, one of those little tiny screwdrivers. Of course, it wasn't plugged in. The battery wasn't in it. But I ran it down to that charging port and I pulled out tons of lint and fuzz. And so actually, I think once I got done with all this, I really probably didn't have to put a new charging port in it. So that's going to be my advice to you is even if it looks clean, try to clean it. And I would suggest maybe using a toothpick or something like that so you're not running metal against metal in there. Still, when you do that, make sure you take your battery out so there's no chance of anything happening. Take the battery out and take a little toothpick and run it right down in beside that charging port and see if you can pull anything out. Because like I said, mine looked clean, but, but I didn't try to clean it more. And there was just tons of stuff. So that's going to be the first thing I would try if I were you is just get a get a toothpick or something and really try to clean that thing out because that may be the problem and like I said I really think that was was my problem on there so you can see my phone is charging now it had to be the cable had to be in the exact right place for that to work and I'm just showing here that it works with with both of these charging cables now no problems charge is just fine now Okay, so the last thing I was wanting to check here, like I said earlier, was that some people have had problems with, with sound. And so I'm just testing that here, and sure enough, my sound's working fine. I'm charging good. So everything's everything's working good now. So I was just, just checking to just to make sure that, that that's good. Everything seemed to be going good on that. So, like I said, if you're having problems with your charging port, um, the first thing I would do... Get a toothpick, turn your phone off, take a battery out, and try to just clean out the charging port even though it looks like it's clean. Try that and see if you can get that. If not, um, then then take the steps in this video. Um, it was pretty cheap to fix it. Like I said, I probably didn't need to do this after I got it all done. Um, but it cost me 8 bucks, including shipping for the actual part, and I spent... Two dollars for the actually one dollar for the screwdriver set, so I spent less than ten bucks. Thanks for watching.